Hey traders, I've got a question on my YouTube channel. I thought I'd do a quick video just answering this question because I know it's going to help a lot of people when it goes out there. So anyway guys, uh, this video here is educational only. It's not giving you financial advice and uh, trading involves risk and you know that, right? So this is past performance doesn't equal future performance and don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video. Now, I want to answer this question here uh, from uh, Ashish, Ashish. And the question was or is, let me see if I can open this up a bit more there we go so the question is it says hi John it may be possible to make a profit from options buying only please reply so I'm not sure if you're saying it is possible or are you I'm pretty sure you're asking me is it possible from options buying only that's a really interesting question I think a lot of people when they see options out there they see how they can write options, they can do these spread strategies and all these funky strategies out there. The thing is this guys, is that the way that I trade the markets, it's the way that I trade the markets, I've, I've always, always been a buyer and seller of options. Simply means I buy the option, I get the market to move in my favor, and then I sell the option for a profit. Now obviously not every time I have my losses and so on and so forth, right? But yes, yes. I, uh, you can make a profit from buying options. In fact, that's the only way that I trade the stock market. I don't trade just anything. I don't trade just the, the shares itself or anything like that. I just, I trade options because it gives me that leverage. Now, the thing is this, guys, the thing is this, is that this is one thing that really stops people. It's never the instrument that's going to make you money. It's not the stock market that's going to make you money. It's not the options that's going to make you money. It's not the Forex market that's going to make you money. It's never the market that's going to make your money. It's your ability to be able to trade that market well. See, yes, you can make money, but if you don't have a real high probability trading setup, that eight, nine times out of ten, you're, that that stock is going to run on for you. It's going to run on for it's going to run on for a nice profit. Then no, your option won't make a profit. If you buy a call option and your stock goes down, you're going to lose money. That's the reason why it all starts with what is your setup, your high probability trading setup. It's never the it's never the market. It's not the futures. Oh, stock market didn't work for me, so I'm going to try the forex market. So that seems pretty good. Oh, I'm going to try the futures market. Oh, I'm going to try the, the, you know, all this sort of stuff. Oh yeah, maybe I should try Bitcoin because Bitcoin is different. Every single market operates the exact same way. Um, so it's never the market that makes you the profit. It's you you being a good trader that makes you profit. I just use options as my as my vehicle to to trade the market with. But remember, it's never about it's never about um, about the actual. It's never about the ve the vehicle there. Now, when it comes to options, you there's a few fundamental things that you need to know before you actually start trading options. Firstly. It all starts with your setup. If you don't have a good trading setup that's gonna that the stock's gonna move in your favor, you know, seven, eight, nine times out of ten, then that's where you need to start because it doesn't matter what option you buy, you're gonna lose money. Then secondly, you need to start understanding time decay and so on and so forth. So what I like to do personally, most of my trades, sometimes I don't, but most of my trades, I like to have at least 30 days to run, because I'm generally in it from one to five days, most of the time, sometimes a bit longer, and I make sure I'm buying first in the money. That gives me a, a bit of a bit of a intrinsic value, a bit of buffer there. So if the market does go against me, I can get out with a small loss and I can move on to another trade. So that's some rules that I use by, but remember, it's never about it's it's if even if you did stick to what I just told you there with the rules, buy more than 30 days out, 30 to 60 days is a sweet spot, buy first in the money, so on and so forth. But you have no idea, you have no consistency in the market, your trade is gonna be horrendous. And I guarantee you, you're going to get into things and so on and so forth. And, you know, and if you're risk management, like if you start to place 50% of your account on one trade, think it's going to make a profit, then that's not how, that's not, then you can have 30% of your account wiped out just like that or 20% of your account just wiped out like that. You've got to be smart. Yes, you can, yes, the, the percent return is greater, but also the percent loss is also greater as well too. So it all starts from the foundation of you being a good trader and having a good trading system. It's not the market, it's you you have to worry about.
Before you go, make sure you grab the free Grab the Markets by the Ballers training course. In this training course, you're going to learn the top 13 deadly mistakes, the success formula, charting boundaries, the PT method, the ultimate trading system, the blast off trading system, number one in trading indicator, the million dollar trade and money management, how successful traders approach the market, and so much more. Get this trading course for free right now. Click on the very first link in the description to get this whole complete trading course to give you the edge on your side of trading this market. Do that right now, and I'll see you on the other side.